Good morning, Pisces Studios. How are you doing? First of all, let's say thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be here this morning. Thank you, Lord. Okay, many blessings. First of all, thank you for all those who like and share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who donate and give private readings. And thank you for all those who go onto my website and purchase my candle. This is my Black Magic Spellbreaker candle. My button. Prosperity Healing Growth Candle, the Love Yourself Candle, and the Justice Candle. Justice will be prevailed. All right. This is the Sage and Apollo Santo. This is the Red Brick Dust. This is um the Water Bath Work, which is Shadow Work. My oils come in oils in a dry form. My crystals and stones and my jewelry, okay? And also, this here is um, the detox salt bath, which is very extremely good for you. And I have herbs in a bag. Today is, today is the new moon, Pisces. So, today is the new moon. So, if you like doing your rituals, do your rituals, all right? Today is the full moon. And then you have innocent Sagittarius, right? So, um, um, and this is this is the balsamic um moon, okay? It's the time to go to let go of the past and to look forward to the future. Okay, surrendering your old struggles and stop it. Hey, Jojo, he is making all, oh my God, I'm sorry. Um, surrendering your old struggles and confronting to, so that you can bring clarity, okay? With the upcoming new moon cycle. So, the upcoming new, new moon cycle, it is in... Um, exactly um, 15 days then you have the moon that you can see right now it's the moon that you can't see so you're not going to be able to see this moon because it's dark so anything that you've been going through from the past the struggles and all release because the new moon is, is it, it'll be coming um, I mean the full moon will be coming um, in, in what? In 15 days. So, right now, let's enjoy this moon. And it's going to bring all telling you to leave everything behind and the things that you can't, that you struggle to leave behind. Leave it behind so that you can see everything clearly for what it is. All right? Um, so, Pisces, yeah, today is that new moon. So, I definitely be getting down, doing whatever it is, salt baths, writing letters, releasing what no longer serving you, or what you want, <coughs> or what you want, <coughs> manifest what you want, okay, and rituals, you, some people do rituals only on the full moon, the new moon, but, and other people say it's not good to do it. I don't know what it is and what ain't. And I don't go with the human world. I go with the spirit world. So I do my rituals every day, all day. I don't care if it's sunny, shining, rain, storms, whatever it is. I'm doing my rituals. To each his own. All right? I don't go by humans. I go by spirits. So you do what you want to do. If you do it. If you don't, that's on you. All right? So I cleanse everything my altar and myself all right and so i put my oils i got my evil eye on and let's start this reading let's see what the spirits are saying the spirits are saying discovery they saw or heard something that turned their senses of reality upside down left them feeling powerless and trapped Okay, it says they, so it's the person, right? Did you hear what it said? 
it says discovering. So it's somebody that seen something, just found out something. It says they saw or heard something that turned them senses of reality upside down. It turned their senses of reality upside down. Let them feeling powerless. Left them feeling powerless and trapped. So what is it that um you may feel like you are come on Lulu Lulu come on up here come on what is it that you may be feeling or finding out that either you or them feeling like you're trapped on uh feeling or you feel like everything has been turned upside down or somebody whether it's you or the cross watcher, someone is feeling powerless over a situation here, right? So, um, it's good to not feel powerless. It's, it, it, that's, that's something major here, all right? Whatever it is that maybe, or you or somebody here feeling like they found out something, she's like, whoa, what the hell, you know? Um, but I do see a home far. It's like somebody, and I do see a duck and a fish, but something is being enlightened. You're looking down at it, all right? And today is the new moon, all right? What is it? All right, so you have justice, and then you have um, somebody feeling left out. Somebody's feeling hurt over a family, over a relationship, Um or over uh, some type of situation where um, there is nothing, there is no togetherness, right? It's like someone here has been using you or feeling like, okay, now, um, now what? I'm, I don't have my family. I'm here alone. I'm feeling like I've been left out in the cold. And usually it's the lady that's sitting there looking at the man, but in this case, it's the man. And left, feeling left out in the cold from what? From this money? From a situation with a family? Maybe maybe somebody is going through something that they know they're going to be losing out on something here. Or somebody judge you, right? Or judge um, something happened with a family that, because you're holding up this fire, right? Um, judgment is... Libra. So, did you feel somebody might have been feeling um, um, unfairly treated? And this is the um, the new awareness or something here that maybe you come to this conclusion that you're not even thinking about, like you was thinking about once upon a time about this family dynamic, or feeling like it's you don't think about it like you used to anymore, like you're moving on. But somebody feeling like they damn sure is missing out on this money, or maybe um, they gonna you gonna be taking them to court because the Libra uh, judgment is a Libra. It is a fairness. Like somebody needs to be treated fair. Um, somebody needs to get. It's like karma coming back to point their finger at the person that you know <coughs> did you wrong. Or shortchanged you, or didn't want to give you what you deserve, or cheated on you, all right, or um, uh, or didn't put in the work into the family, or you know threw you under the bus, all right. But it's an awakening that you're coming through, and you're not. It's like somebody feels right now. Okay, you left me. Oh, okay, you abandoned me, all right, because. When someone constantly point their fingers at you, or somebody's supposed to care about you, right? And then the scales are not balanced. But then you wake up to this reality, right? Then the person feels that neglect or that abandonment. But it's all right when they do it to you. But when you turn around, and some of us don't even turn around. It's just like it happens to us. They do it to us. We don't do it to them. They do it to us. But then when we finally say, all right, well, this has been going on and on 
So yeah, let's just move away. Because there's a lot of weight on someone constantly pointing fingers at you and telling you this. And then on top of that, just walking out and leaving you and leaving you with so much um, doubt and answers. Like, what happened? You know what I mean? Like, but then feeling like you've been left out for dead. Like, somebody don't care how they treat this relationship or situation. Because I, I look at relationships these days as situation, not relationship. It's a situation. Okay? They don't, people don't look at or value relationships. They look at, a re, it's not a word, a relationship anymore. It's a situation. All right? That's, that's, that's the way they should start saying it. It ain't no relationship. It's a situation that you must go a long way. All right? Because if you don't, then it's it's like you pay the price for being with someone so crazy and obnoxious to make you feel the way you feel, all right? Um, but then it got a page, and then it got getting away with something, all right? So the page comes very sharp, maybe very young-minded, or talk very, don't care how they speak, how they communicate with you, right? But then they looking at, looking at, I can get away with this. Like somebody felt like they could get away with something. Like the way they talk to you, the way, you know, it's like they do a lot of craziness. <coughs> how they talk, how they treat you. But getting away from something or being like being real smart on top of that, being smart and being sneaky, it can be a hot mess. It can be very messy. But what I see here, um, the main, the mind, the major is the judgment. So it's someone here that's been judging you, talking to you down, or treating you bad, or being real smart, thinking that they could get away with shit and be sneaky, conniving, and deception. You know, just, you know, let me see what I can get away with and come back and do it again and Go oh, do it again and again and again. Oh, she'll be there. She ain't going away. You know, stuff like that. Um, but then you have um the night. The night. And then you have the hang the man. So it's the night of wants is very fiery, coming in fiery. They go from the page to the night. So, yeah, they, they grew up a little bit, right? But coming in fiery, coming to see you might be um, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, but then got you hanging with your arms behind your back. Okay? So, the good thing is that they coming, but they, they're just the type of person that's sneaky. This is the type of person that you may not trust. And you may want them to come back, but I don't know what you want to do with this person. Because, you know, you, you, you're hanging upside down, but it's not like you are stuck. It's like you coming into an awareness, right? It, it keeps saying that you are coming into some type of an awareness. Something that, um, um... You, you have seen how much you suffered. The hand of man is showing you and telling you how much you, all the shit you've been through, right? And somebody wants to come on in, be fire, coming in fiery, but it's telling you, you, you need to look. It's like you're thinking about everything, right? All the sneakiness, all the finger pointing, all the, uh, Leaving you out in the cold, making you feel like you wasn't worth it, or somebody was better than you, um, treating you purity very poorly, okay. Um, but always trying to get away with shit and got a way of saying to make you come back. The words that they use, but <coughs> <coughs> this shows how much everything you've been through. And everything you've been through, you're hanging upside down. But it ain't like you don't acknowledge what you've been through. 
you just feel like you wide awake, you ain't sleep, right? But you feel like, okay, what am I going to do with this? All right. But remember, you're not stuck with anything. You pick yourself. It's like you see everything you've been through. And it's very clear what you've been through. It's not like you can't see it. When you meet people like this in your life, um, it's always you doing more. I don't care if they if you think this person have money or whatever it is, but they see you like you have it all. And it's so easy for someone to get so used to you. Because when they get used to you, if you think about it, it's like you doing most of the work. I would say, and it's not a relationship, I'm going to call it a situation. You do most of the work, all right? And that is the problem. When, when, when someone's putting you down on top of you doing a lot, and they act like you don't do shit, right? Or they act like you're not important to them. When that becomes a problem, you never forget everything you've been through. And you, you, you may... You, you're starting to think now. You're not starting to sleep on it. You're starting to think it. You know, like you, you're starting to see everything for what it is. Like you're not, you're not delusional. You're seeing it. You're not going to say, um, well, if this didn't happen, oh, it happened. Right? It happened. Yes, it did. Like this is like somebody also that can have a family and, um, you know, uh, you left you out in the cold for the family. And then they, the, everybody seems to be judging you, right? But then the way, getting away, the way they talk is crazy. It's like they can do things to you, but then they can also talk to you down, right? And do things to you that it's just not normal. And then they try to get away with shit on top of that. They try to leave, leave situations over there and, be sneaky and conniving and, you know, but that mouth that they have and the way that they move can cut you down. But then they want to come, come back. So they go from a page to to um the night. So they grew up a little bit, right? But you're saying, no, I, I remember everything I've been through. And I did a lot of sacrificing when it came to this situation because it's not a relationship is called a situation, right? Tell me more about this judgment <clears throat> and this five of pentacles. Tell me more about this judgment and this five of pentacles. Look at this. This is how this goes. And you think about all these cards that fell out. Okay, so now you got the eight of swords for this judgment and this five of pentacles. That means sitting there feeling like you, am I stuck in this situation? I feel like I can't move. But it ain't nobody saying, stay, you're stuck. No, it's you. Because we get so used to this bullshit that you just feel like it ain't no way out when it is. Right? Then you sit there with the nine of swords, constantly thinking, feeling like, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, you just sitting there looking maybe at your computer, maybe at your phone at night, feeling like, um, like you have an anxiety over this. You can't think over this. Your, your, your mind races all the time, right? Not comfortable. But then you have these petty arguments with like arguing or a lot of people wanting to be nosy involved and, this situation ain't got nothing to do with them. Um, but making you feel like you, now what? Where do we go from here? And then you get the sun that shines, right? That tells you, yes, another one, another um sign that also shows the Leo, right? Um, the strength, the strength to... Um, overcome something, the strength to look at it. It's like you take you taking a picture of everything you've been through. It's like you're you you're taking a picture. You got sunflowers, honey. Yep. Let me take. Let me remind myself of everything I went through. Of with it's not, and I'm gonna say you can think all along. 
is a relationship. No, it's a situation. It's a big difference from a relationship and a situation. And what I do want to do, I want to read y'all this um this this thing that I put up yesterday on my um on my TikTok, right? It says situations. I don't want anything seriously. Let's just chill, go with the flow. Yeah, we have sex, not really for a relationship, not ready for a relationship, right? And it says, um, it says, oops, oops, wait a minute. It says, um, it says, not for a relationship, oh, oh, crabs. We have real feelings for each other. Still not ready to be, um, authentic, right? Together. Let's just see. But, but in the meantime, in between time, don't deal with nobody else. So it's like this person, very mean, right? But you start to see it. it's like you taking a picture in your mind and your head of what it was. <clears throat> Again, it reminds you of a Leo. So you got judgment, you got the um hate man, and then you got the sun. Okay, so how many times this person promised you things would be different? Things have changed. How many times a person apologized for what they did? Um, this puts a lot of weight on you. When when somebody lived this kind of life, it's a lot of weight. And it's like really dead weight. Because what can you do with this? It's a constant reminder what you do around this person all the time. Like how they make you feel. Um, you know, like is it worth it? And I don't see that it is worth it. Tell me about this night. And this seven of swords. Tell me about the night and the seven of swords. Four, four, four in the clock. <clears throat> All right. In the same place, it shows the same thing. The ten of cups and then the seven of swords. All right. All right. The ten of cups is a marriage. It's a commitment. Right. But this person is looking. The seven of swords is like peeking. Maybe they seeing or somebody's watching you with someone else. Right? Or you know that this or you know that this this person's involved with someone else or somebody else is watching a situation here, a relationship. Or maybe you can somebody sees that you with somebody else or they with somebody else and you see, but they seem like they watching. You, all right? You got the seven of swords in the same place getting away with something, all right? Maybe somebody watching you with somebody else or keeping an eye on you, right? Or you having a feeling that this person is with somebody else sneaking around to see you, all right? Or this person could have been in a situation but still want to keep you. You know, it's like they want their cake and eat it too, all right? With the hand of man, you get the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is a new path. Something new is happening. A wishing well. You wishing for this. Something you shopping. Um, uh, you stuck over this. This coming to you. It looked like something want to come and offer you. But it's, it's not a big offer. It's a very small offer. Just a small offer. You not. It's not. It's not like you're gonna get a whole lot. You know, it's small. The pages are small. They're young. The beginning of something, something new. But you hanging. It's like you're not sure, right? This person may be coming in very fiery, but you're not sure. You've done a lot of sacrifices. You've been through a lot. You're not just gonna start like that and think. Oh, they can buy you out from just to give you something and everything will be normal. Or somebody here is giving you, wanting to come into your life, but you're not, you, like I said, you're not, you're not moving because the way you've been through, or you sacrificed so much, all right? Or you go going through a lot of sacrifice. Uh, maybe it's saying that you're going through a lot right now. 
because of what you already been through and you still going through a lot. But it's a small gift coming. It's not you, just the opening of something new. So maybe you have someone that's um, wanting to come in, you know, um, wanting to offer you something, but it's not big. It's, it's an offer. It's, it's a beginning of something. Something is open up, but it's the beginning. And it's going to come with a lot of love because somebody is showing love. So maybe you're coming into something new and kind of confused about this or that. But you've been through a lot. And this offer is something that you wish for. Something that you're asking for. All right? It's almost like you're getting it as a gift. Like you're walking into this whole new thing. All right? What this offer, what this fiery offer, all right? But you've been through hell and back, and that's for sure. And I don't know if this offer is coming from somebody that's married or somebody that's in a relationship or someone that did you wrong, but they want to come with something small. And that's what they do. <clears throat> After all the craziness, they still come and offer you something to keep you there. Or this can mean that you actually um, going into a different direction, but you're not sure about that different direction it's taking you to because maybe they're going to offer you something, but it's not going to be big or it's the beginning of something, right? You wished on it, you're going to get it, but it's all the beginning. It's not like, it's not like something quick and in a hurry, no. Is they come in full of fire and desire, but um, you you been through a lot of sacrifice. What do you got to sacrifice to get this? What do you have to sacrifice? What do you got to leave behind? What do you got to let go? What do you got to say? Enough is enough before you can get what you want because you're asking the universe for something, but it's like somebody here watches you or. A lot of petty arguments, um, not being on the same page, but it's this is it, it's very messy, right? But even though this person not be with may not be with you, or they marry, or they seeing someone else, or they have a family, they want to keep an eye on what you doing, all right? They want to keep up with you, right? Stay up with you, um, constantly trying to find out what you doing, how you doing, you know. But then it's like. This is a lot. This ain't what I want at all. But it's something coming in, all right? Something is coming in. Something that's going to take action towards your way. You've been stuck. You've been thinking about this move. But it's something, it's, it's something, it's like a, a new way of thinking too, right? You're taking action on this, on this new path. It's like you, you're not moving like it's coming to you, but you're taking your time. You're not going to rush on it, right? Um, it's, it's telling you to do it. Or somebody wants you to, you know, somebody else is coming in. But they, they're not moving fast and all of this. But they're full of fire, full of fun. But it's got you thinking because it's a way that you think. Because it's a new way of thinking. A new way, it's a new concept. But it's also telling you to take action on this. But you stuck taking action on this with this new past. Why are you stuck? Why? Why can't you leave things behind that? It's like you're looking at everything, how you went, what you went, how they treated you. The just the entanglement. Right? But it's something it is fresh. But you're thinking about it. It may be a new job, a new career, a new relationship, or a new situation. Because I call relationships situ situation. I don't call them relationship. They become situations. That's what they become, right? Yeah, that's what they become. But it's a new past. It's something new. It's, and you're throwing it, the coin into the into the um, wishing well. Like you, you wish for this, right? So now that you got it, what you going to do? Because it might have you thinking about everything you've been through, but it's something here that's new that's telling you to take action on it. Why are you coming with this enlightenment, 
you are not stuck. You know, you're just thinking about everything, all the sacrifice, everything you've been through. And it's saying it's a new past. Let's do it. Let's go shopping. Let's do this. But just like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to be a part of this. All right. I got to see. I got to take my time with this. All right. Tell me more about the sun. Tell me more about the sun. Now, you could have been married to this person or they could have been married to somebody else. But there's somebody here watching. Um, but in that way, it's so much thinking. It's slick with the mouth. Right? Very sharp. Tell me more. Tell me more. Somebody likes to get smart. Somebody don't think before they talk. Tell me more. Very lot of pettiness. But it had you in your head for a long time. Right? With the sun is the ace of cup. All right? I'm offering you this. I want you to take this. All right? I want to take you. I want, I want to give you this offer. So with all of this, it's, it's this new offer that's coming in. Right? And it's pretty huge. Or somebody here is um, the sun. It seems like the sun comes out after all the craziness that you go through. And when the sun comes out after all the fighting... <clears throat> you start seeing a picture. You start getting the strength. But then the universe come in and say, I got something for you. It's like they somebody here wants to offer you something. After everything you've been through in the past, it's a major offer. It's the ace of cups. It's coming from your heart. It's telling you, you got the strength. The, the universe is saying, there is a lot for me to give. Some, it's a lot of love here. It's a lot, a lot of love here. Right? And sometimes, you know, this love comes with a price. This love comes with a lot of craziness. Maybe somebody realized now that they can't have you the way they want. So now they, they you get the strength and now it's this big old offer coming in and shit. It's like, it's, it's something here that, I don't know if it's from the past, it's coming in with a major offer. And it may be major. All right? Tell me more. And it's the universe giving it to you because the ace is this new way. It's the new way. It's the, okay, we can take this to a whole nother level. After everything you've been through, that's the part. Um, The universe is telling you, it's sun no matter what. The sun is there no matter what. All right? Even when you feel down and out. It's a new relationship, right? Emotion offers, right? A promise of great love and a relationship lies ahead of you. The ace represents a celebration in a new relationship. See, through everything you've been through, the sun is going to come out and you're going to be into something new. Be open and set your intentions to the type of new people that will be entering your life. Let your heart guide you to your goals. So after everything you've been through, here comes someone with the sun and a new offer. And it's something new is coming your way. After everything you've been through, now it's this new offer, this new relationship. But the sun is out. So that means after everything you've been through, the arguments and all, is someone entering your life that's going to be new and fresh, Right? And a lot of memories are going to be created, a lot of picture taking, a lot of going out, a lot of showing you a new way of life, that everything is not bad, that every person is not bad, that, that, that we do have people that truly love you and want to love you, okay? And so you got somebody here looking at you and probably in a new relationship, and they don't like it, right? It's like something new is coming your way. And somebody doesn't like the new thing that's coming your way. All right? So they sit there and they watch everything you do. It's like they try to watch when you go on, who you with, um, asking questions. All right? Tell me more. Tell me more. But somebody is in regrets because they see that you're moving on with a new relationship. Okay? That the universe is giving to you. Because it's like you've been asking for this. And 
this person is going to be very protected over you, over what y'all going to build together, or what y'all going to have together. Very protected. All right? And also, Pisces, the Seven of Wands is like when you are doing your best or you at your best and somebody wants to come and ruin what you got. And that's, you know what this reminds me of? Like you're in a new relationship, then you got somebody from the past want to come and rip things apart for you. And then that throws you off because you may be still having feelings for this person, right? And um, even though you have feelings for them, you, you shouldn't fall short for yourself because you already know everything that you've been through. And you got to remember one thing. When I tell you about the past, it can be who you are with or who you was with. But the past to me is if I look at the past and look at somebody I was with that I'm not no longer with, and I can't say that's the person. The person I can say is the person that just left me or I'm with that has brought me so much pain and I did so much suffering and I gave so much and it was never too much. It was never enough. No matter how much you did, what you did, you never gave enough. And then you come meet somebody that wants to make you happy. But that person lings around. That person don't want to see you happy. They want to ling around. Okay? They want to come in and, oh, cry and cry. Because, or, or oh, we could try again. We could do this again. And, you know, when you have so much more going on <clears throat> than to be stuck and nonsense that you already know and been through. So sometimes none of this can be worth it because you try to go back, you won't get the same results, all right, if you're so scared to move forward, all right? Because you get used to the old and you know them so well, but you think that's the best thing when it's not. That is not the only dick and balls in the world. It's plenty more, all right? Again, you got the seven sword all around your reading. You got the seven sword three times. Three times. So, someone has money hidden, right? Um, someone here is trying to get away with something here. Okay. Someone here as the Page of Pentacles saying, <clears throat> that's why you probably feel confused. You don't know because someone's hiding the truth. Someone hiding money from you. Um, or someone's betraying you. Someone here is going to betray you. All right. So you got someone that want to come in, got you all stuck in your head, you know, but you're starting to see it for what it is. You can you can just untie yourself from this. But you've done a lot of sacrifice for this. And then the page of Pentacles is like, all right, um, this is the beginning of something. The beginning of something. Something being offered, right? Um, a new path. But they're trying to get away with something. So... Someone may be hiding a secret. Someone don't want you to know something. Okay. Or maybe it's you hiding something from someone else. That you don't want them to know. Right. But you wishing for whatever it is that you hiding or you don't want them to know. Right. There's something here that is coming your way. But you kind of stuck in your head on this. Or you coming into an awareness. Or you seeing something in a different way. But it's a new path. But it's something is being hidden. Or you hiding this from somebody. Or you don't want somebody to know something. Right? Again, you got the bottom of the, on a deck. You got the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you don't want them to know the money that you're making. Or how much you're making. All right? But it's something here all laid out. But it's, see, it's something that you don't want someone to know about. And they'll come out again. I put it back in the deck. It came out. So the Page of Pentacles <clears throat> is like something new. Something beginning. Oh, shit. 
And then you got my bitch. You got Jonah Art. Jonah Art, my baby. Jonah Art is the kind of, this is the ace, the uh, queen of swords, Jonah Art. She don't play. She been through hell and back. She knows what she been through. She ain't sitting there playing games. She just waiting on everything to come to her. And look at her. She got that light shining on her. And she got her swords up. So Jonah Art, is, I don't know if y'all all heard of Jonah Art, but Jonah Art led a military of men in France and won the war, okay? And she cut her hair to look like a man, but she won the war. She, I mean, she beat the shit out of these people, right? A military war, I'm not talking about, um, I'm talking about a war, all right? And she was told by God to go there and fight the war right so it's something here that's going to come out something that's hidden um or it's something here that you just new job or you know you saving but you don't want no one to know what you're making or what you're doing but it also can be a new path but it's, it's something new here with this new pinnacles this is about your money um Keeping your money to yourself or not letting somebody know how much you have, right? But something here is going to come out that you're going to be surprised about. It's something here that's going to tell you how somebody is either hiding money from you or um, don't want you to know some type of information that you get ready to find out because you got Jonah R. And Jonah R. gets to the matter. She is the, what they say, I'm not the problem, I'm the solution. She is the solution to the problem. She will listen and cut your ass off so quick that it ain't even funny. She don't play, okay? She's been through hell and back. She don't ask for a whole lot. She's not materialistic, but she's smart as fuck, okay? Do you understand? She don't worry about me having a name brand or this big old mansion or all of this. Jonah Art, you got to understand, she is not the one to play with, all right? She's not the one to play with. She knows what to do because she's following her intuitions, right? She puts, she wears her heart on her sleeve. She says, no, we don't play these games, all right? Because I know how you move, all right? She's very intelligent. I mean, she is one of the most intelligent women in the deck of cards, all right? She's very airy of how she moves. She's um, about, she, she tries to see justice in people, right? Um, but at the same time, um, she can literally um, walk away and not care. She ain't the kind of person that you can play with or you can be pulling little games with. Oh, no, she will take your ass to court and she will prove to you everything she knows. She pulls out receipts on the things that she know about you. And you can't get away with it. Do you understand somebody here that she's going to, um, this, you're about to find out a whole lot of shit that you didn't know. All right. Or secrets being hidden. All right. And she's also the kind of person that don't like to talk about her business to everybody. She keeps shit to herself. All right. She don't explore her business out the street. All right. Um, she also a person that don't have many friends, but the friends she have has been always with her. She have long term friends. All right. Um, <clears throat> she's very dedicated to the job that she does. Um, she don't. You can't sidetrack her when it comes to her work and what she do. All right. But you got Ace of Pentacles. The pen, the Ace of Pentacles. It's a lot of things coming to you. It's 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 a lot of opportunities to sit here with this Pentacles. It's in that material world, honey. That is pretty big. Um, being in this material world that you get because it's all new. It's it's some being set up right. Um, a small gift, something that's given to you, but it's small, right? Um, they learn by taking uh, risk, right? It's like you're taking risk. They are the um, 
we as kids are usually smarter than most people, okay, their age. Very, um, they can be, um, they're uh, very, um, they cater to what they like, all right? Um, they can be um, into their family, right? To the ones that they love, they might easily get hurt from minor setbacks. So what it's telling you is there is something coming your way, right? Because it's the junior, right? But you're thinking about it, right? But this is a wishing well, and then you got someone like hiding a secret, or someone don't want you to know something, right? Um, but it, you can easily get hurt by this, all right? You got receipts, receipts on this situation. So this receipt, it, it, it's, it looks like it's a minor setback, and it can be in um something that you want to do or it can be um that you're going to find out something that's going to put you back a little bit and i'm going to tell you for an example what happened to me i had bought the sh a shed on this website and kind of found out it was bogus and they in my money they shut it down but thank god the bank gave me back my money and it can be something like that that you thought okay i'm gonna get this started and I got a plan to get it started, and I bought it, and now it's a setback because it was bogus. They kept my money, okay, or something that you want to find out. But you are very in tune, and trust me, everything is coming what we see. So somebody maybe want to come to you, make your offer, but or you sitting here, um, not you out awake, you're not sleeping, you're not stuck in the situation, but you get ready to find out the truth, all right. Everything is coming to the light. And I mean today. You're going to find out a lot of things. That's going to be in the light. You're going to find a lot of receipts about a person. How they was hiding money. How they was lying to you. How they was setting up shops somewhere else. Or doing something behind your back. Or um, building something. Or starting something new. Like um, yeah. They thought they could get away and start this and that. But honey the setback is when you come with them receipts. Like you smacking them in their face. <clears throat> Y'all found out now what? You owe me. You can't hide shit from me. They seem like they want to hide everything. Like, look at this. How they being sneaky. Conniving. All right? Somebody hiding shit. Or somebody like, I'm going to start this new, but I'm going to hide this. I'm not going to let somebody know what I'm doing. Or I'm, I'm, I'm going to hide this situation. Or I'm going to be hit. It's like somebody, how can I say this? Somebody is saying, I'm not hiding this relationship, right? I'm protecting this relationship. So it's something here that's being protected, right? And I know that's being protected because you got the Ace of Swords, right? It's something here that's coming to you that you're protecting, that you don't want nobody to know. That you keeping it to yourself. And you will fight for it. It's like you, you're not going to let this go. Right? You're very protected over this. Jonah R. protects the people that she loves. She protects her family. The ones that she loved the most. What she do? It's like you're not going to sit there and let something slide. You, you're going to find out everything you want to find out. Right? They can't hide it from you. You know what you know. But it's also something that you're being very protected over. And I don't know if this is a new relationship, a new job. Um, You don't want somebody to know what you're really doing, right? Um, You're wearing your heart on your sleeve, but you're being protected. When Jonah R. comes out on your reading, that is pretty huge. And you know why? Because God picked her. Picked her. She didn't say, I'm going to fight a war. God picked her. And I'm going to tell you the ending of Jonah R. She was crucified. She was set on fire. At the end of all of this, she was set free 
from the heavens. Do you understand? She was free at the end when she fought the war because she was born to be powerful and didn't even know it. She was so young fighting a war. Can you imagine leaving your, set your daughter to go somewhere to fight a war and then she passes away, burnt by, these, by the enemy and turn into the phoenix rising again? This is deep. It's like something here is coming your way, but you're thinking about it. You, you're like not moving because you feel like, no, I got to think about this. I'm not stuck. I just got to think what I should do. But then when you do it, it's this new path that you're coming through. But it's like, let me not talk about this. Let me not say what I got here, right? Let me keep it to myself, right? Because I got some receipts or you're hiding some receipts, or because you know it's time to hide these receipts and put them away where, you know, nobody can find them because you can ready to set this on fire. Everything's getting ready to come out. But you're being very, very smart the way that you are holding on to this information. You're waiting for the right time to bring out this information. And when you bring it out, all hell's going to break loose. Pisces, if you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. I don't hate on no one. It's enough money for everybody. And I'll tell you what, God always picked the people that are supposed to get readings from me. It's not just by accident. God picks you. Do you understand? That's how it works. I have a spiritual altar here that I do my readings, and I'm a very spiritual person. So if you choose me to do your reading... You want to know that you're getting it straight up, and I do not play. I'll tell you what it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat something and tell you what you want to hear. All right? I say it like it is. Pisces, I will talk to you soon, and may have a blessing day. All right? Bye-bye.